Hey guys, what's up? It's Vita's Light Tarot. We're gonna do a quick message. I have to get to the gym. I'm already running late. Oh, everybody who donated, thank you. I had uh, three people. Um, oh gosh, leave it to me to forget the name. I know, I Helen, I think was one. Um, Oh, sorry guys, my hair is, was stuck. Okay, I have uh, the other one. All right, I'll have to bring you two up on my next read. One was with a B and the other one was an L, but I don't want to slaughter your names, so. Thank you. <laughs> the donations like are so helpful right now. I can't even tell you how grateful I am. I can't even, in words, I really can't. You guys are amazing. And um, you've really touched me. You really have. I, um, I've been struggling when it comes to finances, but you know, um, I have a roof over my head right now and a bed to sleep in and I have food but um, with the holidays I was just really concerned with being able to um, I have a daughter who has having her second baby so it's my second grandson and both now both basically being born in December so there's two you gotta get the two Christmas gifts and then you gotta get the two birthday presents, right? So, um, and then of course her for whatever she needs because she's giving birth this month. So it's just a lot. And then, you know, I, I got my two daughters, which, so she's one. So that's, you know, that's, it's just a lot. And, um, I just want to make sure mainly that they have what they need, you know? So it's not like I'm not out there trying to get something on the side. Um, I have a temporary job, but they just told me that they may not need me for a couple more days and it's already temporary. So it just kind of set me back a little bit. So everything was unexpected that I did receive and it, it was just, it's a blessing. Anything is a blessing. I don't even care if it's somebody gives me a quarter, a quarter, right? You can't even call someone a kiss with a quarter. Somebody from New York, picking up on New York or Brooklyn, uh, is Brooklyn in New York? Yeah. Maybe Boston, Massachusetts, and then I hear Philly. All right, guys. So you may be an empress, because that's what's starting on the bottom of the card. Cards. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. All right, let's get started. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, and the Most High, please surround surround us, enfold us, and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil eye, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Archangel Michael, we please protect us this time. All right, listen, guys. I've only had someone say this to me on my live. If you cannot hear me, if there's any issues with my volume on my thing, and I have it all the way up to high, nobody's ever complained besides on my live, but I had somebody complain. So that I do want to know about. So if I am, if you guys do hear a problem, then please comment about it, okay? My information is in the description box. If you guys want um, a personal reading or you just have something personal to say to me that you don't want to write in the comments I have no issue with you emailing me I have a personal email set up just for this channel also um, my information is in there for donations okay because everything helps right now until I can add the thing on there where you guys could just push the button um, you know like to do super things and stuff like that I can't do it yet I gotta up my uh, video hours of like watch time I guess all right what's up what's up all right what's going on spirit 
I do have a download for you guys, but I'm told to leave it for later. So I have a video coming this afternoon. I'll be doing a second video. Or maybe I'll do a live. Uh, I will let you guys know, though, if I do a live. Okay, so you're going to get a victory. There's a lot of truth coming. I'm hearing you're unstoppable. That song came on earlier, and I feel that that is a song for the collective. You don't need batteries anymore. Like, you are glowing and growing, and this is, this is like, really taking power away from all these people who have downplayed you, who have lied, who have slandered you, right? And they're being asked, like, wait a second, I thought you said this, I thought you said that. By you standing in your truth and you're you're just transforming and moving on, not worrying about anything, that is making this task for them impossible. And it's 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 changing. Like I honestly feel that you have woken people up. Not only I feel that you've woken people up, but there's people who have been doing this to you that see you in this light and they want to be there too. Like yeah, you know you can't take everybody with you, but what I'm saying is, like, they still can go on their spiritual journey. They could still wake up in their, in the light. They can still go towards the light, right? They could tell you truth and, and, and help their karma a little bit, right? Because you're, like, walking karma. And you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And maybe for a while it was hard because you're, like, you see it, but you just can't get to it that's a thing spirit wanted you to know it's there you're almost there but just keep going keep getting back up right a lot of people are saying hey when is it going to happen you know like a time frame or you know when am i going to meet my person when is the, when are they going to ask me to marry them um you know is this person going to call or where am i going to get my money the thing is when you stop reflecting on that and thinking about that and you start putting all that time into yourself and um, keeping your mind busy, maybe start, I started going to the gym, start going to the gym, right? Start working on your creativity. Maybe you like to draw, maybe paint, maybe you are a writer. Start your book, start a pre, uh, a pre thing on it, right? Um, what's the other stuff? You could, you know, maybe you like to make jewelry or I, I got into that once I wasn't really someone that likes to do the craft thing but I did get into it a little bit and it just it was kind of neat I made my own dream catchers um it, it really did it, it, it definitely kept my mind like busy and I wasn't so focused on when and I've noticed since I've been doing that things have been falling into place so by you upping your vibration, by bettering yourself with your knowledge, your creativity, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I don't know if I said that part, but yeah, it's going to, it's, it's going to elevate you and the higher your vibration, the faster your blessings are going to come in. And, um, I'm living proof because I can't even tell you everything has been coming. And the reason it's a lot of stuff is stripped away from somebody and in the most high will say, I'm going to take everything away from you, right? But if you're following your path and you answered the call, everything is going to come back and some. So you're going to get miracles upon miracles. The thing is, is trying to let go of the outcome. You are a powerhouse right now, so you're manifesting. And you should be manifesting big, right? Someone said something about stop making these, um, what was it? Um, oh, what do you call them? Vision boards, right? I have two vision boards that I made. And it's not really about, you know, it's an old school thing. I like it because I could still look up and know that I'm going to accomplish that, right? I guess some people used to say, hey, you go ahead and make that vision board and then that's just going to happen because you have that vision board. No, it, it's it's kind of a goal, right? You set your you, that's how that's how you manifest too. You set your sights high, um, higher than you would even think that you would set them. And I feel that a lot of you guys have, right? And 
something about vision boards keep coming up. So maybe you have made this or you've done it in the past. Maybe you should make a vision board, right? Um, you can never, and it, don't say you're too old or anything like that because you can never be too old. Um, but I like mine. I still look at my vision boards. I actually want to make more. Uh, they're just, I see things there that now they have happened. They have come true. Um, some are still, I'm working on it, right? But it gives me a visual goal point. And I feel that you are getting this clarity, this victory, and these people are confused. There was so much chaos that they don't know how you got out of the matrix. So I have a Knight of Pentacles. You could be a Divine Masculine. Or you could be a Divine Masculine that is on your way. This is somebody that's financially set, okay? They don't have any financial issues. They're secure when it comes to their financial like stuff. They're financially responsible. They could be like a stud, they like to strut, maybe go to the gym, but very kind of outdoorsy. Um, maybe even has a horse, doesn't have to. Um, maybe lives like on a land, like land or has land. Um, this person is on their way to talk to you. What do they want to talk? Maybe it's to give you clarity because I have this victory, clarity, mental clarity. Maybe they, this person, you could know them. Maybe in the past they may have gaslighted you. It could be a friend um, or an ex. Or this could be somebody new that is coming to you that is wanting to tell you some kind of truth. All right, spirit, what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles? about a lot of tension and conflict something was causing a lot of tension and conflict I think it's because nobody can give clarity on their lies anymore right like you've been walking in your truth and people don't they're just wanting to know how they want to know your secret right and it's not really a secret you've just been doing you know what what everyone should be doing like loving their self taking care of their self bettering their self and this caused a lot of conflict and tension because now they have no they can't betray you you see through their illusions you've gotten out of the matrix and now it's causing conflict because they feel that you're finding the truth out and not only you but these people they can't get their self out of these lies Yeah, you're a star. You're a star seed. This all also reminds me of like E.T. phone home. See how she's like sending the call up into the stars? Well, she's sending the string. I don't know if you've ever done that where you take a balloon and there's somebody that may have passed on. It could have been a grandparent or a parent or a friend or a lover or something. And you may have went and like let balloons go in the sky. I don't know why that's making me think of that. Yeah, so I got on the bottom um, page of Pentacles. This has something to do with some kind of paperwork, some kind of something with their family. It could be anything. It could be a home. It could be a car. It could be life insurance. It could be uh, inheritance, um, retirement. It could even be like a family heirloom, like something they've left for you, uh, stocks, bonds, jewelry, I don't know, but it's something. It could even be a paperwork on some kind of clarity, some kind of truth on 
on you. And maybe there's something that you've been asking that you don't know about, but it's something that's that's definitely truth, clarity, paperwork, something they've been hiding from you. I, I hear somebody having a conversation on the phone today they were talking to somebody that is either an attorney, a lawyer, and they were asking about some kind of conference call they were going to have today. Um, this may have happened around lunchtime. My right ear's ringing. And um, this conference call had something to do with this paperwork. And now there's a lot of conflict. Now this person's wanting to come have a conversation with you about this uh, devil, about this devil energy. It could be a Capricorn. Remember guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. Not everything's going to fit. The shoe don't fit, don't wear it. All right, so we have the emperor. I feel that the emperor is this devil energy. This emperor sits up high, like he thinks that he is above all. He's above the law, he's got inside um, connections, so he could do what he wants to do, is what I'm picking up. say I'm gonna leave the Empress here it was on the bottom but I did say at the beginning that the Empress was on the bottom so um, you're definitely like giving birth to a new idea unless you're pregnant um, or you may get pregnant maybe you're just you're very fertile but you definitely, like, are going to give birth to something new, like a, some, it could even be like a new invention, um, something like that. And then I got, um, this Knight of Pentacles keeps sticking out to me, though. Is this not a Pentac Knight of Pentacles, the decoy for the Emperor? No. I feel that this King of Cups is. This person is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Intelligent businessman. I don't know why I'm really pulling on Pisces. I guess because of his necklace, the fish is reminding me of a Pisces. This person, um, I feel has been tied in, tied in with this emperor, with this devil energy. All right, let me see what else comes out. What about this King of Cups spirit? What about this King of Cups? <laughs> all the seeds that he's planted, all the lies that he told are like being uprooted, like they're not growing. This person did a lot of stuff to cause chaos behind the scenes. This could have even been to a Knight of Pentacles. This could have happened to both of you, an Empress and a Knight of Pentacles. And now this person, because of all this conflict that's been going on, and 
they see it and they want to come and tell you the truth to give you clarity on the situation so we have this um i just show you this card but we have the seven of pentacles in reverse yeah it's divine timing this landed on the empress you have a, a connection with source you're very very intuitive you're you're psychic you are clairvoyant too like you are um very special to god to the most high anything else spirit Yeah, you are spiritually abundant. You are in the Nine of Pentacles. You could be a Virgo. Remember, I have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Capricorn. Oh, that's not the card I meant to pick. I don't know if that was turned around, but um, Spirit is saying to have strength. That really stuck out. I'm getting Sekhmet, Sekhmet energy, like from, uh, you may have some Egyptian ancestors. They're telling you to meditate and open your heart chakra. Keep your heart chakra open. Because things are going to, things are about to get a little bumpy. <laughs> maybe just, um, like turbulence, right? You're going to get some truth and it's just going to maybe hit you. You've been, you've been getting, um, You've been learning up to this point, so the Most High has been preparing you for this. Yeah, someone wants to apologize. I feel like it's this Emperor, it could be a father figure. Somebody looked up to like a father, it could be an uncle, it could be a boss, okay? And um, they were behind a lot of this betrayal, a lot of these lies. They worked with the King of Cups, who is a business person, okay? You could have lost a job because of this person, a promotion. Um, you could have quit a job because of them. You could have had issues trying to get a job because of them, making phone calls behind the scenes. They just wanted a lot of chaos in your life, and I feel like you grew right through it. You don't let none of this hold you down. You're unstoppable. And now there's an apology. But they're thinking, like, hmm, like, to see this person, like, right, what do they say? Um, no, I'm not playing, uh, I'm not, <laughs> um, I'm not playing checkers, I'm playing chess. And he is holding a chess piece in his hand. But, um... I feel like he's he's trying to figure out his next move is what I'm picking up here. Very, very bad energy with him. This one, a little bit, but not as much. This could have been an ex. It could have been a friend. Okay? A friend of me. Um, somebody you knew. Could have been, like I said, an ex or a lover. <laughs> yep, it was a lover. Could have been like a friend that you loved though too remember all right so anything else spirit basically you're gonna get some clarity on the situation that people threw illusions at they were hiding these things behind your back and lying also gaslighting you, making you think that you were crazy, you didn't know what you were talking about. I feel like there was a lot of injustice. I, I honestly feel like there was people who got locked up that weren't supposed to, they didn't do nothing wrong, um, and they got locked up. Maybe even Baker acted, they try to make them, them act like, or say that you were crazy. Um, there's been people, like there's so many things that have happened to the collective. Um, like job, losing jobs, having issues getting jobs, um, losing, like having 
holding friends, having decent friends or people you can trust around you. And you've grown. Like the collective, you guys have grown. people involved in this that had their hands tied in it. Um, there is a knight of wands that was involved with these three witches. This could have been somebody that was like bisexual. Don't have to be though. The knight of wands. Very impulsive. Um, has a lot of passion but very impulsive. They like to adventure. Has a lot of energy but they just, they're lust, like they're very lusting. They they take action without thinking, okay? And there was a lot of frustration and delays that they caused in your life. But through this, you kept, um, what's that word, uh, prospering? Like you kept growing and gaining from it. They had so many chances to be ahead. They were ahead of you. And now it's like they're going around on that hamster wheel and you're just walking on by. You got out. Yep. They've worked really hard. They celebrated. They worked with these three uh, witches. And a lot of um, stuff like... A lot of negative energy was thrown at you with candle magic, herbs, words. Um, they even did stuff on probably on the internet. Moon cycles. But you're a free spirit. You didn't let nothing hold you down. None of it held you down. You kept going, which caused the tower. It's causing a big tower for these people because you let go. You're innocent. This is like innocent child. You could even have a child with this person. But this is also like memories are coming back. This is could be something that's been happening since your childhood. This could be somebody from your childhood. Again, this also could be something that's happened to your children or grandchildren. But um, you broke these generational curses. And um, you're innocent. This is also like the innocent card. So, I'm proud of you, Collective. You're like, you're definitely just glowing, growing, moving, moving on over. <laughs> right? What's the other song I was ca catching today? Uh, Take time with a wounded hand, cause it likes to heal. And you know what? You gotta feel it to heal it. And I feel like now they're having to feel it. Now are they gonna heal it, right? And also the rest of that song is because I like to steal. So somebody like liked to steal your joy is what I'm getting. And I'm hearing no, no, and no. Not no more. All right, angels, anything? Oh, that um, loved ones in heaven wanted to come out. So you're uh, studying, learning. So you're learning. You've been studying. You may be looking up like angel numbers, um, uh, stuff like that, signs, synchronicities. I got a dream book. Um, it really helps me too. Maybe you have one of those. You might be looking into astrology or maybe your ancestry. Study and learning. Inner power. Yep, the most high. 
The Divine Father is backing you up. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. You co-create with the Most High. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for loving and guiding me to self-acceptance. Manifesting miracles. Archangel Orion. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Peace Warrior, Archangel Ariel, thank you for helping me stand my ground with peace. Yeah, you're very peaceful. Honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And we'll do seven. The Inner Voice, thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. All right, guys. Love, light, peace. Don't forget to like, sus uh, subscribe, and share. And if you want a personal, my email is in the description box. Also, if you're able to donate, anything helps right now. Um, even your comments. You guys are just amazing. I love you guys. I'll see you um, later on. Okay.